member from London West. Uh, thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Attorney General. Speaker, tomorrow is International Women's Day, but in Ontario, instead of moving forward, women have been made more vulnerable by the Liberal government's decision to cut funding to partner assault response. If this government was serious about ending domestic violence, it would recognize the need to hold abusive partners responsible for changing their violent behaviours. Last week, a provincial survey revealed that almost half of Ontario men believe that victims are to blame if they stay in an abusive relationship. Does the Liberal government support this view? And if not, why is the Attorney General cutting funding for PAR, the only government program for men who abuse? Thank you. Attorney General. Mr. Speaker. Uh, this program, PAR, is a very uh, important component of our government's plan to end violence against women. And I wanted to say to the public that the, this government has increased money into this program. In 2014 and 15, more than 11,000 offenders were referred to this program. We are committed to collaborating with stakeholders on ways to further improve PAR. I have listened to stakeholder concerns about the program, and some service providers are concerned with declines in referral rates and the data the government relies on to determine funding allocation. So my ministry took these concerns into consideration and has adjusted funding allocation yes, for 1617 in order to minimize the impact on agencies. So uh, we, we have not reduced the. Thank you. Supplementary. Uh, thank you, Speaker. The minister knows that overall PAR funding has been cut, as much as 50 per cent for the Windsor PAR program, 25 per cent in Elgin. These cuts came after the Premier stood in this House on December 2nd and declared there are no cuts to PAR. Why did the minister ignore the calls of violence against women experts and frontline agencies to halt any further changes to PAR? Why did she ignore the Premier, who said there would be no changes to PAR? PAR allocations and instead cut the 2016 allocations for PAR provider agencies. Thank you, Attorney General. So, Mrs. Mrs. Speaker, our government's annual investment in the PAR program has increased by 47 per cent from 7.2 million in 2004-05 to 10.6 million. Wow in 2015 and 16. So there is a concern about the, the, uh, this program. We've listened to the concern, and we will be convening a stakeholder meeting on April 20th, 2016, with all of our power providers, violence against women stakeholders, and experts to discuss concern about the program and also hear their ideas for improvement. We always wanted to improve the eff efficiency of the program. Yes, we will continue to listen to the stakeholders. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.